It's almost time for the holidays, so let's get a head start on our Christmas budget. Hi, and welcome back. I'm Kamika, and this is Well Balanced Wallet, where I help you create healthy money habits and live a life that you love on your current budget. In today's video, we're going to talk about budgeting for Christmas. Christmas is a time where we get to hang out with our family members and just have a good time. Although it may not look the same this year, but that's okay. Christmas can be a lot of fun, but it could also be a bit stressful if you're already in debt and you don't have a Christmas budget. When I first started my debt-free journey in 2014, I had no clue how to budget for Christmas. I was so strict with my money and I felt like I shouldn't spend any money for Christmas because I was in so much debt. This couldn't be further from the truth. It is possible to have a great Christmas and purchase things within reason while you're on a debt-free journey, as long as you're not going further into debt to do so. In the last video, we talked about overspending. So today we're going to talk about how to set up a Christmas budget and avoid debt while having fun and enjoying your Christmas holidays. The first step is to create a regular monthly budget. This is the budget that you use every day throughout the year, but you want to make sure you have a solid budget already before you try to budget for Christmas. You also want to keep going with your regular monthly budget so that you don't miss payment deadlines and you can avoid late fees and stay on top of your current expenses during the holiday season. So budget your money as you normally would and make sure that all upcoming payments and expenses are taken care of. And once you've done that, any money that you have left over or money that you've already set aside in your budget for Christmas can be distributed for the Christmas holidays. So now that we have our regular monthly budget taken care of and we know how much we can allocate towards Christmas, it's time to write out your plan. So if you want to follow along on this next part, be sure to download the debt-free Christmas workbook at wellbalancedwallet.com. So write down everything that you plan on doing for the Christmas holiday, and that includes events that you want to attend, travel, parties, food that you need to purchase, and anything else in between. Next, you want to add any important dates to your calendar to make sure that you don't forget anything and make sure that you shop for things before the event comes up. And now it's time to work on the Christmas budget. So in our debt-free Christmas workbook, our budget has categories for travel, food, gifts, charity, cards, decorations, tickets, entertainment, clothing, and additional expenses. So that should pretty much cover everything that you have for your Christmas holidays. But if you need to add something else, feel free to cross out any of those categories and add your own. So I'm gonna put a sample budget here on the screen so you can follow along. The first thing that you want to do is write down the total amount of money that you have available for Christmas in the total budget section. And as you can see on our sample budget, this person has uh, been saving $125 every month to get to a total of $1,500 for their Christmas budget. So this, the money in the total budget section is what we're gonna use to allocate uh, throughout the categories for this Christmas budget. And there's also a note section for you to jot down important things that you don't wanna forget or any dates that you need to remember, okay? So this sample budget is only the first budget sheet in our workbook, but there are uh, more categories on the next sheet if you download the workbook. So this person has $1,500 to spend for Christmas and they want their money to be broken up into four different categories, travel, food, gifts, and charity. So as you can see, the budget is very detailed. So for travel, they know that they're going to need gas to get to where they're going. They'll probably drive or take a few Ubers while they're there and they'll need money for somewhere to stay for a total of $400. So clearly they're not going far, but that's what they want to do for Christmas and it'll cost them about around $400. So for the food category, they'll be doing a Christmas party, a work potluck, a Christmas dinner, and any dining out expenses that they want for a total of $300. So that is $700 that they've already spent out of their total budget. Next, we have gifts for their mom, dad, brother, and sister for a total of $600. And then last, they have 
charity because they want to do a bit of giving during the holiday season and they're going to do meals and donations for a total of $200. So once you add that all up, that's the total of $1,500 and that is exactly where they're going to spend all of their money or all of their Christmas money during the holiday season. So the budget is pretty straightforward. You just write down what you want to do, put everything on a line item and subtract it from the total budget until it the total budget is zero. So in addition to the Christmas budget that we just looked at, you can also have a gift budget. So where the person had in the sample budget that they wanted to purchase a gift for their mom, dad, brother, and sister, we have a gift sheet in the debt-free Christmas workbook where you can write down the gift that you want to give the person and how much it's going to cost. And that's just something easy that you can take with you to the store to purchase your gifts. So the last thing that we need to remember for a Christmas budget is to track our expenses. You want to treat your Christmas budget like your normal monthly budget and track your expenses. Tracking expenses will help you stay on top of your budget and let you know how much money you have left based on what you've already purchased. Every time you make a purchase, track the expense and subtract it from your budget. You also want to keep track of receipts so that you can look back if you transpose the number and also if you need to take anything back to the store, you'll have your receipt handy for that as well. If you're a person that has trouble tracking expenses, try to use cash or gift cards when you are making purchases during the Christmas season and that's an easier way to keep up with what you've already spent because once the cash is gone, then that means your shopping is done and also once the gift card has been used up, then you're done shopping as well. Christmas is approaching quickly, but it's not too late to start your Christmas budget. This year, I want you to be able to go into the holiday season without being stressed about money. When you create your Christmas budget and you prioritize your holiday spending, you're already ahead of the game. Now I want to hear from you. Let us know in the comments how you plan to spend your Christmas holidays this year being that it's gonna look a little bit different than past years. I also wanna know if your new plans have impacted your budget in any way. Well, that's all for this one, so be sure to like this video and click the link on your screen right now for more Well Balanced Wallet content. See you there.